I'm here today at Christopher's Restaurant in Reading. A favorite here for nearly 40 years, and there's one main reason why. Best place, you have to go there. <laughs> if not, you'll be sorry. <laughs> Bananas and nuts, oh my goodness. Mm. You may come into Christopher's as a customer, but you'll leave as family. Good morning, Christopher's. Hi, Bill. Hi, Alika. What are you going to make for us this morning? We're going to make a banana Foster's French toast. Mmm, nice and sweet. Very sweet, but very good. Cut the banana now, slice the banana for the bananas Foster French toast. These will get nice and soft. They'll absorb the butter and the brown sugar. So we're going to add the butter and the brown sugar. And then we're going to add the pecans, which isn't typically on a banana Foster. We like it. So now we're just going to put it on the fire here. Take a little time for the butter to melt. Once it does, it comes together pretty quick. So creamy. Yes, yeah, so it'll start to bubble a little bit. And then I'll add the bananas. Mix them around. They'll soften a little bit. I think we're just about there. Okay, now we're going to top it with the sauce. Oh, what are you saying, Bill? This is super sweet and delicious. Just a little more sugar, just in yeah, case it's not yeah. enough. And that's the banana foster French toast. Mm. You got a sweet tooth, you're going to love it. <laughs> And bananas and nuts. Oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> and butter. Yeah. Oh. Good. That's a typical reaction. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Bill, it's a good thing I ran six miles yesterday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did. True story, yeah. So what's your perspective? Well, what I like about this place is number one, everybody's great, friendly. We come here so often, it's like we know everything. The server here at Christopher makes it like a wrapping cups better. Like she's always up and running and making sure we have everything. We've been coming here constantly for the past, what, 15? 20 years? 20 years at least. The food is phenomenal. Personally though, it's the customer service for me. It's beyond exceptional. It's like being served in your own kitchen. What is your favorite food here? It's chocolate chip pancakes. Veggie omelet. Oh, mine too! High five! No joke. I love veggie omelet. Best ever for, well, breakfast and lunch. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us today, Bill. Well, thanks for coming. So tell us about the unique history of Christopher's. We've been uh, in business since 1985. We started in Wakefield and we opened here in Reading in 1992. So, 38 years. If I was to come here for the first time, how would you describe Christopher's? Just say we're a family restaurant. We try to treat everybody else like family as well. We buy the best ingredients we can find. We cook them with a little bit of love. Try to give it to you at a reasonable price with good service. And I think that's what's kept us alive so all this time. And I know that you're near Camp Curtis and you do some special things for active service members or veterans. Can you tell us about that? We do give them a 25% discount, um, but a lot of times, before we can even give them that discount, somebody in the in their dining room has already paid for their meal, which is very nice. They appreciate them. That's wonderful if people are writing to do that. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So tell us about the food we have here. We've got a Reuben sandwich, which is nice lean corned beef with the sauerkraut on grilled marble rye bread with um, Thousand Island dressing. You can have french fries on your rings, potato salad, pasta salad, coleslaw, chicken and waffles which is our hand-breaded chicken tenders, not frozen, hand-breaded fresh. We've got our American chop suey. American chop suey? What is that? It's basically elbow macaroni, ground hamburger with tomato sauce, some peppers and onions. Put some grated cheese on that with some scally bread on the side. Very good, very hearty. A granola parfait with Greek yogurt. You serve it in this glass here. It makes a great presentation. Blueberries and strawberries, or you can add bananas if you like. We've got here Mexican omelet, which is our three egg omelet with peppers, onions, jalapenos, top it with salsa. Mm. It's very good. And we've got our red, white, and blue waffle, which is our Belgian waffle topped with whipped cream, strawberries, and blueberries. It wasn't on the menu from the beginning, but it was either 4th of July or Memorial Day, one of those days then. We said we need to make something patriotic. We came up with that, and people have loved that ever since. So we've got our lobster roll, which is made with claw, knuckle, and tail meat, served on a nice grilled brioche roll. Can't have a New England restaurant without a lobster roll. It's served with onion rings in this picture, but you can have any other side you choose. Well, I think I have plenty to eat today, so thank you, Bill. Well, thank you. Thank you.
Thanks to Bill, his family, and the rest of the great team here at Christopher's Restaurant, I know where I'm coming for breakfast or lunch the next time I'm in Reading. That's my perspective. Hey, New England, what's your perspective? Christopher's Restaurant in Reading, Mass.